As we come on the air, Sri Lanka, also known as the Paradise Island, is paralyzed. You may wonder why. The answer is quite simple. Ask the question. It's because of you and me. It's confusing to hear that you and I let this country down when none of us even govern this nation. And there lies the answer. Nor did we go not govern, but we also didn't hold the governing accountable. Today, a narrative is manufactured by a very selected few who schemingly mold it for their benefit. There are many important factors you need to know because this change we are about to experience is the most important thing we as a nation will face in this 11th hour. As of now, Sri Lanka is more divided, less confident and more confused and sadder than it has been in recent living memory. However, despite the doom and gloom, Sri Lanka's problems are fixable. If the economy needs fixing, then we can select the best path forward from the point of view which will benefit Sri Lanka. Likewise, if our society needs fixing, then we can do the same. To fix our problems, we need the full attention of a group of leaders who loves this country. Unfortunately, we don't have that right now. What we have is a group of leaders whom a crafty mind can manipulate, a group of leaders who can be intimidated by difficult circumstances, a group of leaders who believes that we don't have the solutions, the IMF does, a group of leaders who think that we don't understand the problem, the West does, and a group of leaders who believes that we certainly don't have the means of fixing it, America does. Our very own leaders have let us down, and even right now, it is the case. Look at the parliamentary proceedings. Even in this dire situation, you would see what a pathetic sorry state it is in. Unfortunately, our parliamentarians are more interested in an election that we don't need right now. What we need is a consolidated effort by our leaders to fix the broken system that has benefited them for 75 years and harmed us for that many years. Sri Lanka, the paradise, is paralyzed. The ones who got us there still continues to take us on that wrong path. And the ones who let it happen, that's you and me, continue to believe in our failed leaders. Perhaps the time is nigh for us to think as Sri Lankan people and not depend on failed leadership. We'll be right back.